Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here I'm going to introduce our long-awaited Flutter Riverpod course. Now previously we have seen this e-learning app based on Flutter block and this time we are going to introduce this course using Flutter Riverpod. So let's go ahead what it covers. So let's take a look at it very quickly. So of course uh, over here I have these two simulators and on this simulator this app refers to user app and this app actually refers to a teacher side. Well, so user app actually user would be able to see this onboarding screen and then after that definitely we'll have login and the sign up section. Now over here anyone can go ahead and sign up. Well, actually I have signed up already so I'm not going to use it from here anymore. But if you if we sign up actually that would help us sign up through Google email login. And of course there are Facebook and Apple login as well. Now, since I have already signed up, so over here I'm going to log in. So how do I log in? So let's hit login. And we'll see that over here we are logged in. And so this is our user and app. Now over here we do have another app for teachers so that the teachers or anyone related to this would be able to chat with the users from here. Now over here our teacher can log in as using their account but this account actually would be coming from their backend because for these two apps we also have dedicated backend actually we have two apps over here and we'll have two backend one is super admin panel another is a teachers panel anyway so let's take a look at our user and app over here now over here at the top we do see that we have search section and then we have this uh, sliders and over here we have this uh, four images each of the images actually refers to virtual products or courses in our case well we do also have this search bar over here so you'd be able to search items and uh, then over here you'd be able to see all the courses you have bought and then over here you'd be able to see if you have any chatting or not and after that over here you will see okay you have your profile section and here we do have settings and some other related information now when it comes to settings over here of course we have this page and over here you can eventually log out now let's go ahead and see our front end now front end over here for example this is a course and this course is uploaded by someone or one of the teachers the teachers are available in the back end now over here we would be able to see course related info a course that has been up updated now all this information over here is coming from actually back end now at the top of course we also see author page now author page is author related information and from here actually you can go ahead and start chatting and these are the courses that's been uploaded by author definitely of course you have to buy the course first to be able to buy the course you need to go ahead and click on the go buy button and over here it would pop up with a payment page now over here we can use our dummy email address to log in and make the payment now this payment has been done using Stripe so you'd be able you'd learn how to go ahead and use Stripe for payment. And in this case actually we are using Stripe web view payment which would be integrated using backend rest API. So once you are done, you can see there it says that payment successful. Now if you try to buy it again, it will say you already purchased this course. So yeah, this is the checking we also do. And after that, if you come over here, actually you'd be able to see the course detail, like the related information. And inside this, and the awesome thing that we have covered is this video player. Because if you are a course author, you are uploading course using video. And in the app itself, we'd be able to play the videos, as you can see. And of course, you could do left and right. But of course, in our case, we just use pretty much the same image. And over here, sorry, not image, video. Now, of course, over here, we do see that there is a different video. 
so you'd be able to play videos and which is very cool so everything over here has been done using river pod so eventually when you take this course actually you'd master river pod now anyway let's go to this author page over here and inside this author page definitely you can view authors all the courses if you want and then at the same time you'd be able to start chatting say for example from here you can send messages hello how are you all right now over here we do see that we have this message that popped up immediately now of course this is the teacher this teacher has uploaded the course over here so that's why we are able to send message from here to the teacher and as you can see we also have over here this dot that dot means that we have messages well right now we see there is one messages and uh, good morning so we can send more messages and we'll able to see that the dot that changes immediately over here it's two now from here you can reply to your student or anyone if you want so over here would say good morning you'll see the messages popped up immediately and of course we have a beautiful ui So far so good. So that's how actually a teacher can answer or reply all the users or the students from their side. Of course, it looks like we have to go deep inside for buying the course, but uh, so we have to go deep inside for doing the chat. But actually someone can also chat from here, like as you can see. So if I'm going to send messages from here, it'll pop up here as well questions to ask so we'll see that it pops up over here and then once we open it we will see the message over here and then you close it the red dots gone so this is a beautiful thing about this section now over here let's take a look at this uh, search section now you can search something like visual and we'll see that if we have courses related to that that would show up here actually we could do a search not only that we can go to a page from there so that's how the search works now of course in our uh, profile section we have this few sections basically we have covered over here the settings and the logout section now everything over here has been done using riverpod now that was our user end and this was our teachers end now teachers end over here actually it's a simple not much thing to do if the teacher wants they can come over here and uh, they would be able to change their profile information from this section and not only that teacher would be also able to change their images so let's go ahead and access our gallery and uh, let's take a look now I'm going to select this image and over here we do see that teacher images has been changed and then you can definitely go ahead and save not only that over here if you want you can also actually go ahead and save this information as well over here we are flutter coach all right so just let's go ahead and save it and we'll see that it takes place immediately the actions and it's over here now of course this thing definitely is coming from back end and how we know that you can go ahead and simply sign out and you'll see and sign in now and now let's come over here we do see that whatever we have done before actually is pretty much saved over here so all this information actually goes to the back end now back end actually we have covered using laravel rest api so step by step you learn how to build your own api actually powerful api now let's go ahead and take a look at our back end so this is our back end and let's go ahead and log in we just have logged in our back end now in the back end itself we see that there is a menu menu and well this section is pretty much responsive now over here we would be able to see all the orders that been placed by our users from the front end and we'll see the number of people in a sense that they have logged in in our app now definitely this comes from over here as well 
so if someone has logged in so you'd be able to see the people they have logged in okay all right and uh, then you'd be able to see your course category course category actually you can create a new category from here and once you create the new category and then you'd be able to upload a, or create a course from here now course you can also set as recommended or not recommended if you course is recommended then it will pop up in the front end on the user side automatically on a special place where it says the course is recommended and after that you'd see over here that and over here you'd be able to actually create a lesson for this course so these are all connected the idea is first you'll create a course category then course and then lesson each course will have many lessons all right not only that actually from here you'd be able to separate your users so as you can see you can log in as admin so this is actually super admin and then if you want you can also create separate teachers account so this is from where you create teachers account and pretty much everything we do on this back end that would be for example if you want to create a new course type you have to click over here go ahead and create a new course and submit the button and after that you will create a so once you so if you want you can go ahead and create a new course category you have to click on this new button and submit the form and after that you have to go ahead and create a new course related to the category if you want just like this from here and well this form submission is a bit complex and we have covered step by step everything over here and then you'd be not only able to do that you'd be able to create lessons and each of the lessons that you'd create over here actually you'd be able to upload the lesson name thumbnail and URL now the of course the URL itself over here refers to a video so you'd be able to upload local videos and you'd be able to upload actually many of them at the same time so that means that one course will have many videos or lessons and then just go ahead and submit it so it's the same for creating teachers so if you want to create a new teacher all you have to do come over here and create a new role and that's it now let's go ahead and uh, look at the teachers panel now one of the teacher over here is the best tech and we are going to log in as the best tech So this is very different from our super admin panel because as a teacher all you all you'd be able to do create a new course from here you can do that and f after that you'd be able to create new course related information from here because if you created a course you need to upload the lesson now all this thing actually applies to the virtual product so if you want to show or sell virtual products or develop an app and backend that sells virtual products more like an e-commerce app then this is the perfect course for you so go ahead and check that out and if you have any questions you can leave a comment below thank you